Hello, I'm Rob Diller with DocWire News. We're joined today by Dr. Saad Usmani, co-author of the Pegasus Study, which assessed treatment regimens in patients with newly diagnosed transplant ineligible multiple myeloma. Thank you for joining us today, doctor. Thank you for having me. Okay, so let's jump in. Uh, tell us a little bit about this study as far as the background and the, the methodology and uh, also go into the findings. Sure, the Pegasus study used um, individual level patient data from the randomized open label study called the Maya, which had compared the combination of daratumumab, Lendex with Lendex for relapse refractory multiple myeloma um, with um, existing flat iron health electronic medical records from DA identified patients. Um, and, and the re rationale to do this study was um, the fact that VRD is utilized uh, for a lot of the frontline transplant ineligible patients as is uh, VD. Um, and we wanted to see um, in absence of a clinical trial setting, you know, what would be the real world um, um, outcomes of this comparison. So this is an indirect um, treatment comparison uh, between the DRD arm of the study compared to bortezomib dexamethasone as well as bortezomib lenalidomide dexamethasone. And what were the what were the, the findings? Uh, the findings demonstrated that you know again with the caveat that this is an indirect uh, patient comparison, uh, the DRD uh, patients uh, uh, did well in terms of progression free survival, um, and uh, you know the the way that and that the patients were um, matched. Um, had to do with you know their patient characteristics at the time of diagnosis compared to the patients in in this particular um, uh, database. So this is an indirect comparison, but uh, did demonstrate that the three drug combination um, that's daratumumab based had better progression free survival outcomes compared to the doublet and the triplet in that particular data set. And did these findings uh, surprise you at all? Uh, uh, these findings, um, you know, are are welcome, I would say. You know, I, I don't think that we are going to have um, a direct comparison between the three drug, these three drug combinations uh, in the context of a clinical trial. Um, I was always curious about, you know, the, the outcomes of, of patients uh, with one versus the next. Um, at the very least, you know, we what we can confidently say is patients who are being treated with the daratumumab-based triplets won't do uh, poorly compared to the VRD patients that were treated uh, in the real world setting. And uh, as far as limitations, were there any study, study limitations that you would uh, like to report? Yeah, I think you know the, the big limitation of, of this study is, is the fact that this is not a randomized controlled trial. You know, that's our golden standard. Uh, but in the absence of that, I think this is as close as you're going to get um, to seeing some sort of a comparison between the real world um, uh, uh, treatment of, of patients in the transplant ineligible setting with the three drug or a two drug combination compared to the daratumumab-based uh, triplet. What would you say are, are some of the key takeaways from, uh, from the Pegasus? I think the key, take, the, the key takeaway from, from this experience, um, you know, is that patients, you know, we, we, we've had a very um, good comfort level with patients being treated with, say, bortezomib-based uh, combinations for this patient population. And, and this is a bortezomib-free um, daratumumab lendex based combination. Uh, and what we, you know, the key takeaway is uh, for older patients, this appears to be safe, it appears to be effective, um, and, and can be utilized for these patients. And is there anything else you'd like to add, doctor? No, I think that this, this is about it. You know, I just want to highlight the fact again that this is not a trial. You know, this is um, um, an uh, indirect comparison of, of treatment between the patients who were treated on the Maya, uh, comparing them to this um, um, healthcare database um, with de-identified patient information. Well, we thank you so much for your time today. I know you uh, must be a busy man. Thank you very much, Dr. Usmani. All right. Thank you. Take care. All right. I'm Rob Diller with DocWire News. Until next time, everybody, stay safe.